Hey guys, this is your boy Marcus, and welcome back to the Marcus Mafia, number 12, episode 12, yes, as you can see I'm just editing with my team a bit, from the last episode I did actually end it with me editing the team, so I went back to editing the team of course, as you see Gilas is playing up front with Wellington them at left midfield, and Kalinch uh, is just sitting on the bench really, because he's good enough to be on the bench, he's good as a super sub really, but as you see, first match, again I'm rated of a guy who's 80 points better than me. Not 8 points, 60 points better than me. And that is insane, considering my team's only 664 and his team was 722. So, I'm just ending the team a bit because all my players are starting to get really tired. So, this wasn't really a fair, like, sort of approximation of my team, really. He had Autumn Wingies, Cora, Burini, uh, Asmo Jean up front the player which Sunderland got rid of well he got rid of himself because he wanted to go to the United Arab Emirates because he wanted money money is what well rolls with football so first half kicks off and this this video contains three three games so it's so, alright I mean but again all they do it nearly everyone does the same sort of thing just sort of run with me with pace and because my center defenders are absolutely t shocking I just can't do anything but the first goal he scores is a little like, cut back but he he if I'm being perfectly honest he deserved it he had dominated me on possession and he had several shots from my goal but as you can see I'm moving things about I, t I take off Raj Terrell and bring on uh, Pacini so I can play at a right midfield no I keep Raj Terrell on sorry I take off um, Voldiek and bring on Pacini and move Raj Terrell at right left midfield instead of right and the second half basically starts but again he just plays a long ball and Casper Schmeichel comes out kicks it and he kicks it straight to the opposition and he just pops in the back of the empty net and I'm going I was going absolutely mental at Casper I mean, what is he doing but as you can see, again, he just runs past me, and he, Kasper Schmeichel again makes another mistake. So then, basically, when this happened twice in one game, I'm thinking, should I get rid of him? I mean, he's a good keeper, but should I just get rid of Kasper Schmeichel? He seemed to be making a lot of mistakes, so... As you can see, he had eight shots, four on target, and he has a, quite a lot of possession, so it's expected. I'm sure I get. I, yeah, I always give. I always give them fair play if they've played a good game and they've not done anything stupid, and I give them fair play. But as you can see, I renew Glasgow's contract because I'm sure he played in the last game, so that's expected. But as you can see, I get rid of Zal Swift. He's been absolutely useless for me. I've not played him once, so it's expected. And I think that's only players I actually end up getting rid of. And. That's it. Basically, I'm going to the tactics again. I try and change things up just to see what's going on. And once again, I go into a quick match, and the quick match takes absolutely ages. This is all quickened up, and it took me about about five minutes until I actually got into a match, which it it was a bit weird. But considering I do this at like more or less come up to midnight, one o'clock, so in the morning, so that sort of makes it so it seems that. Of course, I'm not going to be facing so many people, and the fact that all the people I face probably aren't from the United Kingdom, so that's expected. But I do end up getting paired with some eventually, and the guy actually has a team worse than mine. And I'm thinking, thank Lord Jesus Christ as well, while I'm up there. But <laughs> as you see, Wellington them is on <laughs> Wellington them's on bad form, so I bring in, um, I believe it's Marquinhos, so I bring him back for another game. I take off Raj Terrell, and I'm thinking, who the hell can I replace him with? <laughs> because I don't have another right back, because Pacini got, um, Pacini got a red card, or he got injured, or something, he got, he got red card, he got a second, he got a yellow card, so, he got a second yellow, so, uh, not second yellow, just another yellow card, which gives, gives it, gave him a suspension. So I'm playing Volheim at right back, and he has only a 32 or 33 overall, which is absolutely shocking. But I mean that's expected considering he's a central defensive midfielder and not a, a like right mid. So I bring Kalinic in for Gilas because Gilas is just feeling a bit, a bit tired. So of course I uh, always want to sort of change the squads about. So first half kicks off and I'm playing in the black in the red and white and he's playing in the blue of Paris Saint Germain, and he actually dominated me in this game. He was so so good. I'm sure he had Empel up front, so it wasn't really a really fair uh, like sort of game. But Joshua gets away, and he just can't put it away. A Kalinic, he gets through as well. And I'm thinking, I'm going to do this. And he shoots, and he gets a shot on target, which is pretty decent for his first start. And Dobby gets the ball from a Kalinic. Kalinic tries to get it, can't get it back. And a shoot, 
and it goes completely wide and it was a terrible shot but Impella, I think it's Impella, gets away again shoots and he scores he's everyone seems to have him I might just end up going up I'm not going to go buy him because I wanted to, I was going to say I'm going to go buy him but I'm not going to buy him because everyone has him it's just boring so second half kit starts and I get some shots where Dobby has a fantastic shot and it's just it's it should go in but keeper saves a fantastic save and again somehow he pushes me off the ball of Impella tries to round my keeper, can't round my keeper, tries to, he does a fantastic lob, I'm not going to lie, that lob was absolutely amazing, and again, I get a yellow card for having already have one, and I think it's Richard Harty, <laughs> Richard Harty gets sent off, and I tried to, he actually maybe injured his player, which he was like, meh, but once again, he tries to do some stupid skills in the last minute, pass it to Kalinic, and he just shoots him about 25 yards, right into the top corner, I'm not even joking, his shots are so lethal, he's a good player, but he's a bit slow, but maybe him and Gilas up front would actually work, or him and a, like a faster striker, so maybe him and Dobby, or him and Marquinhos, but it comes to more or less coming to the last minute of the match, and he does a stupid little cup, sweaty cutback, and he decides to score another one. Every single goal he scores is basically sweaty, but Coin Brother ends up getting a red card for another yellow card because, yeah, it was right. Met Impala played up front from Coin Brother gets a yellow, second yellow, red card. So he will be suspended for the next match. And he got the and basically the last minute of the match. As you can see, he did have 11 for 7 shots, and he, he, I had more possession. It seems whoever has more possession seems to lose the game. It's ridiculous. I do give him a fair play because, I mean, he did score two sweaty cutbacks, but that was a bit retarded. But as you can see, I go down by 10 points because he was technically worse than me, but in reality, he wasn't, which makes sort of no sense. But um, as you can see, Casper Schmeichel is not... Is, his the contracts are running down, so I, I, I believe I, I do release Voljek because he was, he's pretty poor, he's not really that good as a left back. So I am going with my favourite players once again. I go through them all. I'm like, mm, should I buy Tisanovic or Padani? Was basically what I was looking at. So I wanted to buy Dean Shields as well, but because he's just Dean Shields because he's a beast. But I ended up buying Padani because he's a left midfielder who can play at left back. So. But then he comes in and he goes up to a sixty seven straight away and he can't play he can't play right back. I checked I checked that out and he can't, which is a bit disappointing, but instead of playing a uh preset for the tactic, I end up playing just a standard tactic. I'm gonna try all the tac I try all the tactics in this match basically, just to see if I can actually sort of see if if I can find one which actually works for me. And once again going swiftly into the next match Again, I have to go through all the bloody filters. Like it seems like the f the, the servers have been running really slowly at this time. And again, I've got I've got a team rating, team strength of six six six. Number of the beast, the devil. Yeah, I got a devil, devil, devil number is my team rating. And again, I face a guy who has eight hundred and six. He's got Bazzini and Pella, Tony Cruz. He's got some guy called Gene. We've got Johnny Evans. I mean, that's insane. And this is why I just sort of sat. I was like, "Oh my god!" I just, I just couldn't be bored. I was just like, "Screw it!" Just straight into the game. Screw, screw doing anything else. And this guy was a pretty good player. But as you see in the bottom corner, if you did, if you just missed it, it comes up saying "Kickstarts" by example. As you can see, I, I have changed all the music. Music is my own music now in the game. So, yeah. Yay! But the game kicks off, and he's playing with Atletico Madrid, the base team, and I'm playing with Arsenal base team. So, I'm passing the ball about, and of course, he gets a fantastic... I think he has Mario Goots as well. Yeah, he, this goal is absolutely insane. Look at this. Finesse. Pass Casper Schmeichel. He's not having a good day, and he's not been having a good week. And again, he plays a through ball, and his striker just runs onto it, shoots, and Casper Schmeichel actually makes a save. Is this a turning of the page? I believe it must be. But Padani gets on the left wing. Padani is really good, like at, in the actual game. He's really good at crossing as well. Do you think he's actually a left midfielder? But uh, as you see, I do get a get a shot on target, which is decent. And it's one nil at half time, and I'm thinking, meh, it's going all right. But Padani gives the ball away. And Volheim can't get it, and he does a little sweaty goal, tries to sweaty goal, it can't, but I end up going goal scoring with Casper Schmeichel. But as you can see, I get the ball with Dobby on the right midfield, and I'm just running, and like, no one's pressuring me, and I do a little, little, hmm, screw it, controlled cross, and boom, 
Great header by Gilas. Back in the game. Come on, let's do this. Being 2-0 down, it's a bit disappointing. But again, Gilas shoots and it's just wide. He's such a good player. But again, he tries to, he can't clear it properly. Dobby gets to the ball. Crosses in after taking a touch to set himself. Keeper just cannot keep the ball. Wellington then gets it. Passes it back to Padani who crosses in first time for Gilas and a header. Another one, a fantastic player. And in the final, coming to the final minutes of the game, Wellington then pushes, pushes his defender off the ball and he tries to chip the goalie but he just can't do it. And the game ends to all. If it wasn't for Castro Schmeichel's stupid own goal, I would have ended up winning the game. I would have actually won against a guy who was like 200 points better than me. That's because he's 10 for 3, 7 for 6, 53 possession for him and 47 possession for me. It seems that whenever I have less possession, I always take my chances more. Let's see, fair play. And I look at the highlights because I was so happy with it, but his goal with Gutsa, that was one of the best goals I've actually seen scored against me. Him, that one, and Carlos Martins, it was fantastic. But I still think my goal, my goal, my goals are actually pretty decent. To be honest, of you, the fact my team isn't the best, but I'm, I usually don't score headers in pairs. So to score head, to score two headers in one game is actually pretty beast. But as you can see, I go to the main menu. I end up getting a banana. So yay! That's what everyone wants: bananas because we're all gays. No, I'm just, joking. I'm just joking. I go up by four. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more from the Marcus Mafia, more from PES 2013, more from FIFA 13, and catch you later.